question seven. So, a lot going on with this question. First thing we need to do is we need to differentiate just here. So, it's just quotient rule, really. Like, well, the main bit of it is quotient rule. So, let's just do this bit first of all. So, I just jotted down quotient rule here. So, when you do this, just write down each little bit first of all. We've got u, and we've got v. The u is equal to 8x plus 1, and the v is going to be equal to x to the minus a half. Now if we just piece all that together, so we've got this one times this one, so just write it all out. Don't worry too much about trying to do anything yet. Just write it out. And we're going to take away these two multiplied together. So we're going to have 4x squared plus x times the x to the minus a half. And then it's all over v squared. So that squared will be 4x. Okay, so now let's try and see what we can do. So maybe let's just multiply it out, see what happens here. Okay, so what are we going to have? We're going to have 16x to the 3 over 2, plus we're going to have 2x to the half, and this one times this one, so we're going to have minus 4x to the 3 over 2, and then this one times this one, so we're also going to have minus x to the half, remember all that's over 4x. Just tidy it up a little bit more, because it's obviously we can, this one take away this one, this one take away this one. So that gives us, uh, whoops, I was going to write 8 then, uh, 12x to the 3 over 2 plus x to the half, and that's over 4x. Now, the bit that I've forgotten about is then we've got minus 4 ln x. Well, if we differentiate minus 4 ln x, that then gives us minus 4 over x. All right, when you differentiate ln x, that gives you 1 over x. So now we've got, we've got this here. Now, you could leave this in a variety of forms. I could just multiply this one here, top and bottom by 4. But I'm, I'm looking at this down here. All right, so I'm thinking, wait a minute, I need 4x root x on the bottom. So if I multiply top and bottom here by root x, so that gives me 12x squared plus x. And then I'm going to do the same with this one. And I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 4 root x. So that gives me minus 16 the root x there. And then it's all over 4x root x. So that's the first bit of the question. Okay, we're quite happy with that. Right. Now part B of the question. Okay. So let's have a look at this. We need to think about, well, how do we get to this part just here? Well, it's showing the minimum point. So the minimum point is when dy over dx is equal to zero. So let's have a look. Basically, when it's going to be equal to zero is when that bit there is going to be equal to zero. So let's just jot it down, first of all, and let's see where it takes us. So let's have a look and think about what we can actually do there. Well, I think we could divide through, couldn't we, by root x, OK? So let's just think about just trying to tidy this up a little bit. So that gives us 12 3 over 2 plus x to the half, take away 16 equals 0. So let's give it now, let's just equals right, just taking these two things over to the other side. So that gives me 16 take away root x. Right, gonna divide by the 12. Okay, so that gives me Dividing by 12, that's going to give me 4 over 3, take away 
do x over 12. And then I need to get rid of this power. So effectively, I'm going to do the opposite to both sides. And then we end up getting 4 over 3 minus root x over 12. And opposite power is 2 over 3, isn't it? Right? It's just like that will undo it, which is what we wanted just here. OK, so let's now have a look at the last part of the question, the iteration there. Now, we're going to need our calculator for this. So, so let's get your calculator. And the easiest thing to do is just to type this in, all we're doing, and then we're just going to feed in 2. So let's have a little look. So let's just quickly type this in there. 4 over 3, and we're going to take away, let's put another fraction in there, so we've got root, now it's 2 at the moment, so let's just put that in there, and type in that 12, with the bracket, now it's to the power, so let's just put a power, that power happens to be a fraction, so let's just put it in as a fraction, and we've got 2 over 3, there we go, okay, so this is going to be the answer, equals, that's the answer, to the first part, okay? So I'm just going to quickly write that down. One, three, eight, nine, and it said five decimal places, so don't make a mistake there, okay? Um, be annoying to lose marks over something like that, okay? So we've got to go to four, just there. Right, okay, now we want to get the x coordinate of p to five decimal places. So we just need to keep repeating this until at five decimal places it doesn't change. Now the easiest thing to do, you could just keep feeding these numbers in, but the easiest thing to do is just to use your calculator in a sensible way, look, and you can go back up and you can go and change that to to whatever the previous answer was. And if you just do that, look at what's going to happen. Okay, if I do that again, right, it's just going to save me so much bother. And I don't need to necessarily go and write all of these down. I'm looking for it where it doesn't change at five decimal places. The easiest thing to do is just go and press equals a few times. Okay, and right, so that's zero five at the end. Let's go another one. Oh, it's changed, see, so that's zero four. So that would, that would round to zero for the fifth decimal. The last one would have gone up, wouldn't it? So let's see if it changes again. Zero, four again, okay? So I'm happy with that. So the answer would be one, five, six, five, zero. And that's really just using your calculator um, properly, okay? So it's just feeding that last answer into there. Use your calculator in the right way. And just press equals a few times.